I'd like to turn it over to the uh, next speaker, the great, if you would all please stand, I'd like to turn it over to the next speaker, great Deacon David DePass. Shabbat Shalom. Please be seated. Yahweh's peace be with you and every one of you. Yahweh bless you understand today. So when you think about it, there's only two types of people that exist. You have those who make decisions based on the facts and those who make decisions based on their feelings. I would dare say that all the problems that exist in the world are caused by those who make decisions by their feelings. And you see on the news, fights, riots, people fighting over toilet papers, people fighting over all crazy things, going to the store, throwing stuff, or even at the school, school shootings. Um, even the families, domestic violence, uh, all these problems are caused by those who make decisions by their feelings, right? So I just want to talk on two subjects or two different um, um, elements, health and finances. Let's start with finances. The reason why, why more, most people are broke today or poor, well, it's because they make decisions based on their feelings, not the facts. They focus on their wants rather than their, what they need to buy, right? Or they, they get the check first at the end of the week to blow it out on all this unnecessary stuff, spend thousands and thousands of dollars on all this junk that they don't need, and they forget their obligations. They're supposed to provide for the family, right? Put food on the table, clothes, and provide for them. They forget all the things that they need to get but focus on their wants, right? And what occurs to these people? They have outstanding balances, low credit scores. They're always in the hole. They're always enslaved to the system. They're always in debt. They're always stuck. And you see this taking place on the holiday season, right? They buy all this unnecessary junk, toys, gifts, and end of the month, they're broke. How do you spell trouble? That's what they're in, right? Then let's go with health. Do you know one of the main causes of diseases is depression. So why people get depressed? Well, somebody that they close to them dies, passes away, and they no longer can function, right? So what occurs to these people? They occur into depressed mode. They get depressed. They start leaving off the Dunkin' Donuts and Krispy Kremes and Sonic and Wendy's, all these fast food restaurants. They live off of junk food, right? They smoke 10 packs of cigarettes a day. They do illegal drugs. They, we wrote to um, uh, um, smoke illegal drugs. They, 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 they live unhealthy lives. They become overweight and fluffy, right? Like the little Pillsbury guy, right? And they, uh, they can, all, can never get out of the situation. They're stuck. So then what occurs to these people? Then they start developing heart attacks, heart disease, a stroke, cancer, diabetes. Uh, lung cancer, all these diseases. Why? Because they were feeding their emotions the whole time. They never learned to move forward. It crushes them. It destroys them. And they died at a young age because they were fixated on their feelings. You know, what's here? They were stuck. They never learned to move forward. You see, the facts is always there to remind you that you live in the real world regardless of how you feel. So that's why it's so important, brothers and sisters, don't make decisions based on your feelings. Make decisions based on the facts. If you want, that's the title of my sermon. Don't make decisions based on your feelings. Make decisions based on the facts. The Peace of Solution teaches that we must control our thoughts Control our feelings. You know how this works. Thoughts lead to feelings. Feelings lead to actions. And actions lead to rewards or consequences. And Yahweh works the same way too. And for us to remain in Yahweh's house and to make it to Yahweh's kingdom, Yahweh demands obedience. Right? Yahweh demands obedience. And there's thousands and thousands of examples in the book of Yahweh where you have those who made decisions based on the facts, and those who made decisions based on their feelings. Let's start in the beginning. Cain and Abel, right? Now, Abel was righteous, right? 
But Cain was the emotional one, right? He was one that was fixated on his emotions. And Yahweh accepted Abel's offering, but he didn't accept the Cain. He said, Cain, I'm not going to accept your offering. No, I'm not going to accept you. You, you know my requirements. You know my protocol. Go fix your problems, Cain. Right? But what Cain was doing, Cain was so fixated on what he was feeling. What he was feeling. Anger. Anger, emotion. That's not controlled. Leads into serious problems. Cain was angry. He was fixated on this anger. And Yahweh told him to repent. Right? But Cain was so fixated on what he was feeling. But what occurred to Cain? He committed murder. Killed his own brother. Abel. First righteous priest. Right? When Yahweh instructed the children of Israel, don't go marry these heathen women. Don't go marry these God worshipers. Don't, don't stand your sons for your daughters or your daughters for your sons. Why? Because you're going to bring this negative influence to your family. You're going to bring this God worship to your family and have no part with unbelievers, Right? If we would occur to King Solomon, King Solomon had an all-star team of heathen women that he married, right? Because they were almost attractive or beautiful, whatever. But it was lust, lust, another emotion, not controlled, leads to serious problems. King Solomon was so fixated on what he was feeling, right? His feelings. He's fixated on them, his feelings, that he married these unbelievers. And what occurred? He fell into God worship. His heathen wives told him to build pagan images that had nothing to do with the worship of Yahweh. And the whole house of Israel fell into God worship because of King Solomon, who was fixated on his feelings. And all this occurred under King Solomon's rule. And, and, and the whole house of Israel fell into God worship because someone made decisions based on what they were feeling, Right? And now you have those who make decisions based on the facts. So when Yahweh told Abraham to take your son, have him slaughtered at the altar, have him sacrificed there, your only son that was born from Sarah, was Abraham emotional? Was Abraham heartbroken? You bet. He was hurt. He was destroyed. Everything was coming against Abraham. He was like, Yahweh, Yahweh, why? Why, Yahweh? It's my son, Yahweh. Why? Right? All these things were going through Abraham's mind. But did Abraham make decisions based on his feelings? No. Abraham made decisions based on the facts. And the fact is, Yahweh demands obedience. (laughs) Yahweh demands obedience. Abraham made decisions based on the facts, and he was blessed by Yahweh. Yahweh came through for Abraham. Yahweh came through for Abraham. Here's another one. Eo, right? Beautiful family, wife, kids, children, all these great things, right? He had ox, sheep, donkeys, all these possessions. It was all in Eo's he had it, right? In a heartbeat, he lost everything he had. Like that. Again, was Eo emotional? You bet. His heart was broken. He's like, what was it me? Why am I deserving this shabby treatment? What did I do? What did I, why, why is this? And his wife, who was very emotional, was encouraging him to make decisions based on his emotions. Just, hey, yo, what are you doing? Do you see the injustice that Yahweh has done to you? Curse Yahweh and die. Right? Once again, Dio made decisions based on his feelings? No. Eo made decisions based on the facts. And the fact is that Yahweh is righteous. So there's something that I need to look into myself. There's some self, soul, soul searching, as they call it some self-reflection that I had to do on my part. Eob, not once, did Eob curse Yahweh with his mouth, right? Eob made decisions based on the facts, and once again, he was blessed by Yahweh. Yahweh came through for Eob. 
Yahweh came through for Job, right? And the same thing occurs in many, many thousands and thousands of examples in the scriptures. We have those who made decisions based on the facts and those who made decisions based on their feelings as examples, testimonials, and lessons to learn not to make decisions based on your feelings, but make decisions based on the facts. It's very important, brothers and sisters, to focus on the facts, what's around you, okay? And it's the same thing we have in Yahweh's house today. The same thing we have in Yahweh's house, believe it or not. Why we have followings, right? Think about it. Why we have those who leave Yahweh's house? Could be many reasons. But the, I bet you the common denominator is this, brothers and sisters. They make decisions based on their feelings and Satan takes them out. Right? Everything becomes a problem for these people. I, I can't take this brother. I can't take this sister. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. They stockpile all their feelings, right? And so they make decisions based on their feelings. They, they forget the facts. What are the facts? The law says, yeah, what, what called you to Yahweh's house? What brought you here? The law of Yahweh is the truth. That's a fact. The law of Yahweh is the truth. That's a fact. The house of Yahweh is protected in the prophesied place. That's a fact. Yisrael Hawkins is Yahweh's last day's witness. That's a fact. These are all facts. You can't deny the facts, right? These are all facts. But when people leave the house of Yahweh, they forget the facts. They focus on their feelings. They focus on themselves. Me, 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 right? They develop this selfish and self-centered attitude, and they run outside the gates, and it occurs all the time. All the time. So the bottom line is this, brothers. I hope this registers. I hope this sinks in. I hope the lesson here today is this. Don't make decisions based on your feelings. Make decisions based on the facts. It's very important, brothers and sisters. Don't make decisions based on your feelings. And I know it's hard. It takes work. It takes discipline. It takes setting your mind in advance as the piece of solution teaches. Control your thoughts. Control your feelings. Make decisions based on the facts. And you'll be blessed by Yahweh. It's a promise. You'll be blessed by Yahweh. And I just want to read a couple of scriptures as encouragement. Um, we turn over to Uremia chapter, Uremia chapter 17. Let's look at verse 7. And it says here, Blessed is the man who trusts in Yahweh, and whose hope is in Yahweh. For he will be like a tree planted by the, the, the waters, which spreads out his roots by the river. And he will not fear when he comes. His leaves are always green. He will not be worried in the year of drought and never cease to yield his fruit. But pay attention to verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, Yahweh, search the heart. I test the mind of men. I give every man according to his ways and according to the fruits of his doings. And um, we turn over to um, Proverbs chapter 28. And let's look at verse 26. It says, he who trusts in his own heart is a fool. But whoever walks wisely will be delivered. They will be delivered by Yahweh. Right? So the bottom line is this, brothers and sisters. Don't focus on your feelings. A lot of things takes back. Uh, um, a lot of negative outcomes when you focus on your feelings. You can get hurt. You can be broke. You can kill somebody. You can get killed yourself. Make decisions based on the facts, what's presented to you, your surroundings, and you'll be blessed by Yahweh. And with that, with all please said. At the pleasure center service over by Deacon.